the book I chose is A Splash of Red, The Life and Art of Horace um, Pipping. It, the author is Jennifer Bryant and the illustrator is Melissa Sweet. The publisher is not po um, book for young readers and the copyright date is, copyright date is January 3, 2013. The genre is children's book and it's 40 pages long. It is appropriate for 5 to 8 years. Um, this book, I have never read it. I, I had no idea of, um, which is kind of the the deal with most books that I, I've been doing. And this book really caught my attention because there is this young kid, which name is Horace Pippin, who he loved to draw. He used to like to draw a lot of things and he would like try to see something and he will make it um, come true alive. And since he, since he did not have a lot growing up, um he will make drawings with charcoal and when he will see something as like i said he will do it a lot of um, people that he knew like co-workers um friends um classmates and sisters will tell him draw this draw this, draw this and he will do it he was so good at that they will tell him to draw things um one day when he was young um he saw a flyer that says that was a contest of drawing and he and there will be a prize at the end he did not know the price and he ended up winning and the price was um paint brushes paint and pencils color pencils he was really really happy because now he could make um he could make um the drawings more more colorful um uh, more alive and and more artistic in a way when he grew up um he went to world war one and he will Horace will fill um his notebooks with drawings during that time of period. Um one day they shot him and his and his and the arm that he will use to draw. Like he, he draw with the right right arm and they shot him in the arm. Um he came back home and he was still not able to to do what he would what he liked to do, which was drawing because he couldn't um move his arm. So he couldn't do anything, right? Um one day he started to would practice and 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 practice and slowly but surely he did it. He used his left left hand to um to hold his right hand and he would draw. So he would use the force of his right hand, so he could move his um hand, the one that he draws. So he will make drawings, but using like kind of both hands. <clears throat> and at the end, he he makes um he makes the drawings go display in museums and galleries, um showing all his art. And this book is really, um, really encouraging, not only to, to people that um, are into art, but to anybody because it shows a lesson where where you don't have to have a lot or you don't have to come from, from a family that has a lot to, to be somebody important, to be somebody in, in, in life. And he really shows that because he didn't have a lot growing up. He, he struggled. And then when he was um, older, they shot him and he couldn't use his arm, but would um practice with patience and he he made it come true right he, he he made it um at the end he succeeds so that shows um how everything can can happen you know <clears throat> um this book um shows a lot of um illustrations and it's so much art so as uh, it it has um relation with the with the um with the one with the book because um, all the drawings that he he will draw, they will show him how he will do it or how will it turn out. So it's really really artistic, really um colorful. Um, so yeah, this for kids, this book can be um for kids, this book can can seem and shows a lot of challenges and um circumstances that people um pass, but um you never give up. You keep trying, keep trying. Mm, this book um is great for art teachers as well and for also for um for um regular classroom teachers because it shows perseverance and following your dream. Um like I said this book is is great for many things. And it shows when you love something you, like you don't give up, you keep trying, you keep trying. Um also this um the activity I will do for Oh, I relate to this book. Sorry, I forgot. I relate to this book because um, I personally come from a family that don't have a lot. So um, growing up, we didn't struggle, struggle, but we never had like the things we will see other people having. But that didn't stop us or that didn't um, like make us feel less because we keep trying. And now that we're um, older, me and my sister, my sister and me, we keep working and working hard because we want to succeed in life. We want to make our parents proud. So this has uh, really, um, like, uh, it touched my heart because I can relate to 
to to the kid, right? When we're young and then we keep trying and keep trying. Um, a strategy, a strategy or activity I would use for this specific book. Um, an activity I will do is um for each student to draw something special. That means for them. So each drawing should have a meaning, and they will have to present in front of the whole class and also to me. Um, they need to draw something that they love to do, or something that they want to become when they're older. And um, what do, what will they um do in order to to achieve that goal? In order to um make that dream come true. So they will sh this will show um that in order to get to the to that to that high top of their life, they need to um overcome any situations.